Oh, darling, please get me my drugs. I want to go to bed. No, honey. Not tonight. You're beginning to get addicted to those sleeping tablets and that's not good enough. What are you trying to say? Are you mocking me or what? No, I'm not mocking you. Then what are you trying to say? That I'm... I should go to bed and toss around wide awake till daybreak? What I'm trying to say is that if you can just calm your nerves and relax and think less of your problems, you'll be able to go to bed without a sleeping tablet. Joy, just listen to yourself. I should relax and sleep off. A man who's been thrown out of a job for one whole year now. A man whose family is starving. A man who's been given quick notice. A man whose friends have deserted. That man should relax and sleep off. Joy, please don't get on my nerves this night. But I haven't deserted you, have I? The kids haven't deserted you. And besides, we are not starving. Haven't we been managing for my salary this whole year? Am I complaining? Joy, you know it's not the same thing at all. I can no longer walk tall as before most friends. I can no longer attend social functions. God, it's better not to rise than to rise and fall. But it's also said that the downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Honey, this is only temporary. God will surely see us through just half faith. When will that be? When is that going to be? It's been one whole year of searching, struggling, and, and suffering. If you sound this hopeless, what then do you expect the kids and I to do? Hmm? Why don't we just sit and pray and hope that there'll be a light at the end of the tunnel? Instead of lamenting and brooding and, and harassing the kids and I every day. So, that's the way you're interpreting my condition now, eh? No, honey, that's not what I meant. Sorry, that's not it. Okay, come, let's go to bed. Of a way of making you sleep without those tablets. What's going on here? She refused to remove her uniform. That's a rat's wife. Come on, go, go. Go, on. go, go, come on. Huh? Can't allow someone rest in this house? Can't you? Huh? It's okay now. Make it easy. Take, take what easy? Don't I do some rest? Don't I? But she's just a kid. So, leave, leave me alone, please. Let's try and hide your frustration. It's okay. Nothing special, but I'm not doing anything. Yes. Is that so? Oh, why not? Oh, sure, sure. Look, I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Uh, thank you very much. I'll, I'll be right there. Thank you. Something very big. I'll see you when I come back, okay? Uh, give him food. Bye-bye. Um, Wow. It will take just
just 2 million naira to do this job. Mobilization fee is 2.5 million naira. Go on. Go my in law introduced her to me and she accepted to submit to me. So I have to bring you in as my good friend. What do you say? Chima, <laughs> why not? Come on, man, I'm in, I'm in. Thanks, <laughs> man. Thanks, you are a lifesaver. Thank you. The problem we are going to have now is the deadline. We have just two weeks, or else we miss it. What deadline? Her own court is one million naira. You bring five hundred thousand, I bring five hundred thousand, and she wants it upfront before submitting the papers. My in-law has promised to give me four hundred thousand. I, I cannot run for hundred thousand. I don't need buy you. Five hundred. Chima, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a big money. But the contract is good, so that we can be rich again. <laughs> she promised to make this in regular life. This one works out fine. And you know, most of these ladies, they are rich. They have the connection. They can get this job, but they can't execute. Look, give me some days, Chima. Give me some days. I can't afford to miss this opportunity. Never! I cannot. But it's important, the deadline. You don't have any time again. Do it. I'll get the money. You just have to. You just have to. So, you know, Lion? What money is this? 80,000 naira. Mm -hmm. It's the money I've been saving for a rainy day. Mm -hmm. I need to buy little to be able to make up the money for the contract. <laughs> Joy, why are you always dragging me backwards? 80,000 naira. When what we're talking about is half a million. Oh, Delay, I'm not trying to drag you backwards. I'm only contributing my only two quarter. Mm. I mean, by the time you sell one or two things, you'll be able to make up the money. Sell things? Like what? Well, you could sell the car. I mean, that's what? a job of fetch. Sell the car? The only remaining car? Yes, what's wrong with that? How on earth can you make such a suggestion? Sell the only thing that, that, that's keeping me going? The only thing that still confuses my enemies? Look, Joy, once I sell that car, I'm a dead man! But, sweetie, it won't matter. Because when you're done with the contract, you'll get paid. And then you can replace the car. Listen, Joy, if you don't have anything else to say, just hold your peace. If you were a man, you know what it feels like selling your things, property, car, because of penury. So how is Chima raising his own money? Well, his father-in-law is giving him the money. Poor me. I don't have a rich father-in-law. Yes, that's the bitter truth. When one is down, it's the in-laws that help. But no, not in my case. Even when I am down, I still carry my in-laws. Oh, me. Oddly, why are you doing this to me? Why? Even when I'm trying to help, you look for a way to make me look like a fool. Why? Oh, I am sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No, 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 no. You meant to offend me. It's not the first time. Actually, you don't care about my own feelings. You never ever heed my own advice. 
That is how you lost your job in the first place. I warned you not to take part in that deal, but you won't listen to me. All because you were desperate. Enough, woman, enough! I was not desperate. Never have been desperate! You were desperate, and you are still desperate. Okay. Yes, I am desperate. And tell you what, woman, there is no modesty in money making. I never asked for your help concerning this contract. So please, I will go it my own way. But don't bother to ask me how. Excuse me. nearly two years. Your house is still as organized as ever. Hmm. I guess you expect to find me scattered and unorganized. Hmm? Well, that is not me, Odin. That is not Stella. That's not Africa's daughter. Easy, Stella, easy. I've come in peace, not war. Can I at least sit down? Of course, as you wish. You sit down if you want. Odile, I thought we agreed to call everything off so that you can concentrate on your family and I can concentrate on my life. I've been out of a job for a whole year now. You may not believe me, but my family and I are starving. <sighs> I've been a ghost of my usual self these past 12 months. Hey, yeah. Uh, sorry, you. But something just came up that may put me back on track. Ordinary. Whether you are on track or out of track takes no skin off my nose. Listen, Stella. A friend of mine is ready to help me with a contract. I need 500,000 Naira. You're the only one on this planet Earth who can give me that kind of money. Please, I'll pay you back with interest if you wish. Please. Odile, you know something? I admire your courage a great deal. But, but you know what it feels like to be used and dumped after everything. Odile, you jilted me. You went off somewhere and married some girl from nowhere. Claiming that your family said this, your family said that. Hey, Odile. <laughs> we know all those tricks. Two years ago, you were duped. Greedy man. And what did you do? You came running over to me. I bailed you out. I never saw you again. You barely managed to send my money back to me. Now here you are again. Odile. What do you take me for? Tell me, what do you take me for? Stella, I am sorry for everything. I really am. Believe me. 
I want you to help me. If I lose this contract, it will be devastating. I'll become wretched. I've suffered too much already, Stella. You know, we still love each other, no matter what. That is it. Our love. Odile, that is what you always use against me. Because you know that I will always do anything for our love. But not anymore, Odile. Not anymore. I've learned my lessons only too hard. I've grown. I will never again do anything for you, Odile, without some sort of commitment. Okay. What kind of commitment? What sort of commitment? Marriage, of course. What else? Marriage? Come on, Stella. I can marry you now. I already have a wife and children. Then go back to your wife and children. Why do you bother me? Stella, you better Stella, leave. Stella. Did you mean that you're willing to be my second wife? Adele. Adele, you know I'll do anything for you. You know that too well. Everything depends on you now. Next week. What? It's an emergency wedding, but now you go be my bridesmaid. Since when did this one start happening? Just three days ago. Oh. Come on, let me do it fast. <laughs> Who is the unlucky her? Who is the lucky one? Who else? Am I run away, Bobo now? Mm. Audily, of course. What? Stella, <laughs> come on, be serious about it. Ne, I'm dead serious. Ah, 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 Stella Akrika. I'm going to be getting married to Audily Aguna next week. It's a secret wedding, but everything has been arranged. Man, this is wonderful. Congratulations, baby. Mm. Congratulations. Mm. Well, how come he came to you and proposed, Abby? The horror and the secret say, how far? <laughs> nah. It's a secret, oh. but only you must know about it. Adili had a problem. As usual now, he ran to me for solution. But this time around, I did wait for him. I give him my price. I Marriage or no dice. Trust you, baby. <laughs> but this time around, I'm about no get choice. Yeah. Because me, I give a post-dated check that will match up after the wedding. I trust you. Oh, Dilly, that nearly made you color with love. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a dream control. Mm -hmm. I'm oh, so happy. You can say that again a million what times. Means? Stella, what about the other woman? <laughs> Who? What the least wife? That's one way. You should be asking how she is going to cope with me. I'll be anyway. We have an arrangement whereby I'll be staying in my own house until such a time that Odile considers it safe to break the news to that one. Wait, but wait, I don't like this. You won't be having enough of your husband. We've settled all that. Mm. The most important thing is for the marriage to take place first. Okay. After that, all that things go they follow Abby. now. Mm. Oh, what does the dog say? Uh -uh. Which dog again? <laughs> they throw the bone out to the dog and let him battle with you the spirits. Are a very bad babe. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Do you imagine that? I, Stella Akrika, that I will be going into that house as a second wife. No. Over my dead body. Yes. I knew Odili first. Yes. Before that one. Wait. Was before a that, that, that thing came out from nowhere. Wait, let me go into that house first. I will show her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Trust you. Let's go into my office and iron out the details of my wedding. So this whole thing is a fraud, Stella. You barely who went me into wedding you know, just for nothing. How can you be such a traitor, Stella? Such a fraud! Oh God! If I knew this was your plan, stop it! Come on! Come on! Stop, stop it, it ugly! Have you gone quite crazy? What is the problem? The check bounced. Can't you see it? There's no single dime in this account. My account? That's impossible. Hello? Manager. This is Stella Akrika. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I issued out a check for half a million naira to somebody who just busted in here now to say that the check bounced. All right, I'll hang on. Yes, I'm still moving on. Okay, okay, may I confirmation from me? Yes, I issued out the check myself. <laughs> That's all right. We'll be right back to cash it. All right, manager, thank you. Don't mean anything to you without this money. I'm sorry, darling. They didn't explain it very well to me. You mean you haven't overgrown this your childish impatience and desperation? It's all right. Here's your check. Thank you. It's no problem. They just wanted confirmation from me. Go ahead and cash it. But please, don't ever talk to me like that again. Oh, have you so quickly forgotten that I'm now your legally married wife? I'm sorry, darling. I was just very upset. Um, let me go. Yeah. A classmate of mine in the university. The guy had been abroad, the U.S. precisely, since we graduated. I ran into him three days ago, and that was it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was beginning to think we've lost this contract, because I don't have another place to get half a million naira for you. I knew God would do it for me. <sighs> that toy and fasten I did was not a joke. <laughs> uh, so, what's going to happen? I'm moving straight to make the payment, collect the LPO, then we'll make arrangements to purchase computers and softwares. Good. I don't foresee any problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> we must make it again. <laughs> Look, Jima, I don't know how I can ever pay you back for this mighty favor. Like our friends for. Look, we've been together. We were employed one day, and we were sacked one day. <laughs>
How are you? I'm fine. I can see that. <laughs> Let me help you. Uh, Ooh, darling, your bag is heavy. What's inside? I am fully prepared for the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, lazy bones, get up and have your coffee. You are supposed to be flying to Abuja this morning. Oof. <sighs> mm. This is good. <laughs> so, does she do this for you? Serve you coffee in bed? That rude girl you call your wife. Um, let's not go into all that now. We shouldn't spoil our honeymoon. Abby? <laughs> <laughs> so. So where did you tell her you're going to be? About now? Well. As far as she's concerned, I've been in Abuja since five days now. <laughs> oh, Dilly. So, you had to lie to her to be with me? Come on, Stella. Didn't we both agree on something? Do we have to keep talking about this thing all the time? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I just think that you're giving her too much power. After all, I'm older than she is. And I met you long before she did. Contract on the line. Once it's done, I'll get you that dream car of yours. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. ah, did you hear that? That is going to buy mommy a new car. I'll drive you like this. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, here. Okay. That? Hello. Yes. yes. Oh, it's for oh. you guys. Okay. Hello? Oh, come forth. Hey. Uh, long time. What's happening? Are you serious? So today's your birthday. Oh, happy birthday in advance. So what's happening? For real? Of course we'll be there. Why? Of course, Akasarashi Junior. He's my husband. will be there. I promise. Man is just prepared for us. You know me. <laughs> All right. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye. Honey, did you hear that? Her first birthday is on Saturday, mm. and I promised her we'd be there. Why not? We shall all be there. Uh, wait a minute. Do you mean this very Saturday? Yes. Oh. I wouldn't be there. I have to be in Abuja for a crucial meeting. Honey, you are virtually in Abuja every day. 
It's almost like you live there. So I should stay at, at home and go back to suffering? Why are you being edgy all of a sudden? Why are you asking a question? Please don't spoil my day for me. I'm sorry. not to make such embarrassing calls. Did we agree to keep away from each other for such embarrassing length of time? Were you not supposed to be with me since yesterday? Look, my wife has been sick and... What, what do you mean? Your, your wife? Your, my wife, my wife? And what am I? Your housemaid? I'm sorry, darling. You know it's going to take me a little more time to get used to this arrangement. Odile, you don't know who is your wife. And who is your concubine? Anyway, if I don't see you in my house tonight, let me tell you, our arrangements, our agreements, they are all null and void. You hear me? I will then be free to do whatever pleases me as your legitimate wife. You hear me? Oh, Stella, please. I need to take my wife to the, I mean, Joy, to the hospital. Oh, 
Charles. <coughs> Angela, <coughs> put some clothes in the bag and, and let me outside by the car. Stella, what is wrong with you? Ah, ah, your body is hot too. Have you taken any drugs? What of your husband? Does he know this? Psst. Tina, that's why I called you. Mm. It's better never to get married than to be married and never see your husband. See me now. This is my favor. It's more of deep depression. I don't know what to do. But I thought you had an arrangement. Huh? That arrangement is not working, Tina. Mm -hmm. I've been as lonely as ever. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? In the last one month, Odili, Odili has only slept in this house three days. Mm -hmm. Yes. He said that he's with his family, or he's gone to Abuja, or... Nah. I never knew the whole thing was going to be like this. But I told you, who is close to a man owes him. You can't be operating from afar while your competitor is right there in the house. You surely lose out. And if you continue like this, you're going to get hypertensive before the year runs out. Ne, help me. What am I going to do? I can't continue like this. Pack into your matrimonial home. Simple. Ne, that's what I was planning to do. Yes. I wonder. Tina, can I compete for my husband's attention with that, that rat? Huh. Small thing. The trick is never be in the defensive. Always be on the offensive. Where did you get that from? Huh. My father married 12 wives. Hmm? 12 solid wives. Huh? Only two, including my mother, survived the war. Hey, ne, that means you are a graduate of polygamous family it politics. What? Don't worry, I'll lecture you more on that. Just get up. Let me take you to the hospital. You're looking really sick. Eh? Get up. No. Let's go. Let's go. That's my hospital safe. and show me my room. How? How did you get here? How can you be asking me how I got to my husband's house? Stella, how can you do this to me? We had an arrangement. How can you be so wicked? You are more wicked, Odile. You that abandoned your legally married wife for weeks now without showing any presence, you that married a woman of your choice for months now and your so-called first wife is not aware? You that married this little rat out of convenience and pity only to come running to me for the real thing. Please, Odile, respect yourself and come and show me my room. In fact, I think I will need two rooms here. Sure you know me now. I have a lot of property to bring along. And I am not wretched. Neither do I come from a wretched background.
I'm sorry. Hey, stop the way you open the gate. Make another verse. Oh, shut up! For weeks, I felt something was terribly wrong somewhere. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. I even went down with malaria. But you see, the moment that woman stepped into the house, I felt all the grief, tension. Believe me. You see, I felt a whole lot lighter. Because then, I could see the objects of my persecution. I thank God you feel this way now. Hmm. It is still a puzzle to even the wisest man why a sane man would leave his very caring, very loving wife for a devil, even to the point of a secret marriage. He claims she's forced him because she loaned him some money. Hmm. But I also learned that they've known themselves ever since before we got married. <laughs> So men can be awfully deceitful. This past few weeks has been hell. I can imagine. No, that woman is a devil. I mean, even when I go out of my way to be friendly, she just snubs me. She just threatens, curses, you know, quarrels for no good reason. She's always looking for a fight. Patience. Patience alone can do it. <laughs> Listen, I want you to go about living a normal life, taking care of your children. If she doesn't want to be friends with you, well, then keep to yourself. I know that someday, soon, water will find its level. I'm thinking of leaving the house, the marriage, everything. I mean, I, I, I can't God say... God forbid you want to abandon your marriage. Joy, these are mere temptations and they would soon come to pass. But what have I done? Tell me where I have gone wrong. Please. No, no, no. I have tried to hold my family in one piece, single-handedly, and I'm not complaining. So tell me why Odile would treat me like this. Ma, it's okay. I don't deserve it. I don't. See, crying like... would not solve this problem. Do you have to be strong? Oh. Pull yourself together, or else I see you running a blood pressure soon. But I still feel danger. I still feel something terrible is going to happen. I can't lay my hands on it, but... Nothing is going to happen. All this will be over in no time. Relax. God no. is in control. explain to you very well. If not for me, he wouldn't have bought this car in the first place. And you people would have ended up starving. They cannot starve. I work. And I earn money too. Oh. So where were you? Where were you when he crawled over to me? Crying of hunger and starvation. You kept your meager salary to yourself, civil servants. And besides, didn't he tell you how we started? How I made him you liar. You did not make my husband. My husband had a solid job. You were the one milking from him. Fool. How could I milk him? How could I milk a man who was always borrowing money from me? Besides, he only married you because he wanted a bush girl he will always control. Look at you. You're finished. 
You are nothing but a desperado looking for a man to handle it. That's all. What? Yes. How dare you talk to? How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? How dare you? Look, I will teach you a I The I don't know what's happened. Welcome, sir. She shall surely die. Ah, me? The holy book of Moses says, if you slap me once, I slap you back seven times. Holy! You have stared on the tail of the tiger. Therefore, you shall know no peace. Ah, ah me? Joy. Chima, my house is now a theater of war. I never imagined Stella would turn out to be such a tiger. Every day, she must find an excuse to foment trouble in the house. And you know, Joy, she can't be intimidated. Look at my face, Chima. Just look at my face. I was separating a fight yesterday and one of them landed a shoe heel on my face. You need to have witnessed the chaos in my house yesterday. What the words? I never imagined you of all people could make this kind of mistake. Marrying a woman secretly because of money? A woman you had earlier rejected because of her age and unpleasant attitude? I'm disappointed in you. Don't blame me, Chima. Don't blame me. I was desperate. How else could I raise the money for that contract? I would have arranged another way of getting the same money from her without such commitment. <sighs> now Joy thinks I am part of this solid scheme. Odile, you lied to me. Me of all people, Odile. I am sorry, Chima. I, I really am. But what I need now is help. I can no longer look my lovely wife Joy in the face. Not to talk about my children. I never intended it to be this way. I just wanted to get the money, discharge Stella somehow, 
and give my family a new lease of life. Is Taj a woman like Stella? <laughs> that is very naive of you. Don't you know that the true nature of a woman begins to manifest the moment you pronounce her married? Anyway, the reality is that you have two wives under your roof. There is nothing you can do. You have to bear it. Endurance is the word. <laughs> Maybe with time, there may be a solution to the problem. Mrs. Akuna, what is the meaning of this? Somebody will die soon. Is this the proposal I asked you to prepare? to you, Mrs. Aguna. Is this the proposal I asked you to prepare? I'm still talking to you, woman. Is this the proposal I asked you to prepare? Is there any problem, madam? Huh? This woman is gone. Security! Send one of your strongest men here immediately. Quickly! There is an emergency. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. I was actually trying to do my job. You know, I, I like you and I always admire you in this office. Now, take her out of my office immediately! Will be abundant upon you. Ah, my God, Joy, what is happening? What is the meaning of all this? I'm mad. I'm mad. 
mad is it true it is not true you are not mad all you need is to relax put your mind to rest and you'll be all right but i don't know the things i do i don't know i i try to stop myself and i can't You are not mad. If you were mad, would you be talking to me right now? Would you recognize me? Junior has been out there crying all day. Your children are looking up to you, and if you go on like this, I don't know what you expect them to do. Joy, why are you doing this to yourself? Where's your husband? Do you have a husband anymore? Auntie. Uncle has traveled to Abuja for the past three days. What kind of devil is operating in this house? <sighs> Listen, I'll go and get my pastor to pray with us, okay? And you'll be fine, okay? Since Uncle traveled to Abuja, she has refused to eat anything. Joy, is that true? Joy, you're not helping matters. How can you go hungry for days? Hey, what do you have in the house? Rice. Rice. Get out, please. Oh, no, I, I don't want rice. What do you want to do? I want white yam. White yam? No oil. No oil. White yam, no oil. So you hurry up, go and put some slices on fire. Fast now. Eh? See, um, let me go and get my pastor to pray with us, okay? I'll, I'll be back. Angela, you have to take it back and have for me, you hear? I'll be back soon, okay? Where do you know, madam? Madam, you the go market? Auntie has gone out. To where? Auntie, I, I want to take my bath. By the time I came back, Auntie, it's not my fault. I found out she has left with Junior. Hey! I thought I told you to take care of her. Oh. There's no point panicking, Sister Comfort. The Lord is in total control. The evil one reigns, but for a moment. Let's go inside and wait for her. The Lord will teach us what needs to do. Are you sure when she's yes, coming back? Yes. Let's go in, let's go. Come, 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 come. Let's, let's go. Go! Let's go. Take care of somebody you cannot.
happened to my daughter and my grandson. So Odile, all has not been well. And you never cared to inform me up to now. My in-law, when I sent for you, Joy was still very well. She only had occasional bad moods. I never imagined her condition would deteriorate like this. Oh, Chineke! <laughs> this is not the orderly I used to know. This is not the orderly that happily married my daughter. <laughs> orderly, what happened? How can you lose your only son so carelessly? And your wife. My own daughter is now called a mad woman, roaming the streets, and you don't seem to care. My in law, please, 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 do not add to my pain. Don't forget I'm also mourning my, my only son. <laughs> Only God knows why all this misfortune would befall me. Only God knows what that wicked woman and her mother have done to you to turn your mind against your beloved. Hey, 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 woman, stop it! Stop it! Don't you ever try to drag me and my daughter into your family tragedy. If your family has madness in their blood, how does it concern my daughter? You and I, who look like they have madness in their blood. Answer me, wild woman! You just found a place to dump your untrained daughter. Audrey, won't you stop this stupid one from insulting me? And look, woman, if I hear any more of that, I am going to beat you up personally and tell you. You can't do anything. I say you can't do anything. No, 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 Hey, I didn't invite you here to come and worsen an already bad situation. You please didn't please invite me. I came on my own to inform you that you have not completed the traditional right to my daughter's marriage. What you have done is for the outside people. And let me tell you, marriage where I came from, it's a serious matter. I'm leaving. Your wife will give you details. And please, let me tell you, I don't want to see this stupid, demented wretch any other time I come here. Go and look for her daughter and send her to psychiatric home. That is where demented and demonized people are kept. Uncle, Uncle, Auntie is here. Uh, who, who is Auntie? My madam. Hey, my daughter. My daughter. My daughter. Hey, run! Daughter is starving and you are crying. A wicked woman. Very wicked. Uh, no. <laughs> what did you cook? Yam? Coco yam? I don't want beans. No rice. No pepper soup. I don't want anything. <gasps> Mom, please come on. I'm missing you. Please come home now. Don't worry, my daughter. I will come back home. When the devil and his agents are tired, I'll come back. Hmm? 
What did you eat today? Rice? Good. No, not good. You ate rice, you did not tell me. You did not call me your mother. Hey, Kasarachi, why? Yes. I need some policemen here urgently. Yes. N number 10, Munuru Barua Street, Surulere. Yes. Why? Come, come and eat my daughter. Please come. Son must sit before me. Yeah? Go and bring my son. Now! No, 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 no. Go to Abuja. He's not waiting. He's waiting. <laughs> This woman we poison you. Yes. One day you just eat food and you will die. <laughs> I don't want you have me good. I want Papa. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Oh. Taking my son. Taking my daughter. Taking my husband. What was today take? Nothing. I want Papa. Give me Papa. That is not Papa. Papa is okay. Catch her! Don't catch her before she escapes! Catch her! Catch me! Don't let her escape! Catch her! Catch me! Catch her now before she escapes! Where is she? She has a mental problem. That woman is mad. I know! That was why I sent for you people! I needed for you people to help me catch her! I mean she's mad. We no. can't do anything. So what do you want me to do? Okay, I have to set you lost. What did you do? You see, I am Professor Emeritus, University of California of the United States of America. I have lectured in nearly all the universities in the whole world. Uh, name it. Uh, University of uh, London, Cambridge, uh, um, Harvard University, uh, University of uh, Oxford. And you see, and uh, uh, in fact, I'm a genius. I conducted anthropological research on evolution of homo sapiens you know and my undulating inquiry has metamorphosed into etymological research on proper nomenclature of the earliest inhabitants of this planet earth so what nomenclature do you bear i mean what is your name oh joy oh joy I am sure you can cite my mansion from here. It is a model of a mansion I encountered in my sojourn in Casablanca. Casablanca? Oh, yes. You see, there I encountered a, a genius called Zogolo Mamputi. I obtained that model from him. And that is my model swimming pool. You can swim, you can enjoy yourself. Um, yes. Do you... Do you love it, Her Majesty? Who is Majesty? Oh, your cerebral cavities in shambles. I told you a while ago that you were cast in the model of all the majestic queens in history and anthropology. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Hunger, yeah, you are hungry. Okay, yes, let's see. Hungry. Yes. Hungry. Hunger, hunger, yes. 
You see, hunger is a process in the human metabolism where the bite I'm hungry! Okay, um, well, okay, right, okay. Then let's visit my cutlery and utensil section. There uh, is the most sophisticated kitchen in the whole universe. Come on, let's go. Um, you see, there you would see my ultra model library and my exquisite waterbed and sophisticated sauna bath, right? And my living room is as spacious as the Maracana Stadium in Brazil, South America. Come on, let's go in. Come on. <laughs> As you can see, this is my ultra model library, my exquisite waterbed, and now being here, I'm sure will keep you company as I will keep me company, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll have the best of time. Move on to the righteous side. Move on to the righteous side. Move on to the righteous side with God. Peace be unto this house, to the glory of our Lord. I am a servant of God here this morning on a special mission to deliver a special message. If I am welcome, I shall proceed. If I am not, I dust my feet and take my leave. Ah, glory. Mm, hallelujah. Ah, mm, angel, you ah. Go on and be fast. Mm. We're already late for an appointment. Ah. I smell danger. I can smell death. But thank God, the author has gone away with her iniquity. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Ah, ah hallelujah. hallelujah. The plan backfired and it is now back to sender. Mm. Glory. Mm. Woman, your hands are clean. You have a gentle, forgiving spirit. Otherwise, you would have been roaming the streets right now, mad and stuck naked. Ah, glory. Mama, you are a good woman. But someone is trying to put you into trouble. Yes. Do not allow that person, no matter who. Glory. Mm. Ah. Mr. Man, you are worried about something. But do not disturb yourself. She's only reaping what she had sown. Therefore, I'd advise you not to try to help any further. Otherwise, the curse will be transferred to you. Aye, no, 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 no. That is the message that God sent me to deliver to you people. I go back to my altar to pray for you all. I live in peace. Hallelujah. I say move on to the righteous side. Move on to the righteous side. Hey! Hmm! Darling! Darling, did you hear her? Darling, so your wife wanted to make me mad. Eh? I thank God for God. What would the whole world have said? That I, Stella Akrika, that I am mad. God forbid, back to sender. So... This is your evil plan with your daughter. And you pretend to, to, to be holier than thou. Like mother, like daughter. In law, I know nothing about what that woman said. I know nothing. God knows. Who is your in law? For two weeks now, I've abandoned my business. Going from one place to another. From one police station to another. From one psychiatric hospital to another. All in search of that devil you called your daughter. Even my wife's businesses have been affected. Yes. If not for God, and if not for that woman of God, all our businesses would have collapsed. 
and you go back to penury? God, God forbid. forbid. <sighs> so this is the evil plan of the enemies. But today, today, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Holy Ghost fire. Look, I married your daughter when I was rich. But suddenly, everything crumbled. I lost my job and was starving until I was bailed out by my beautiful wife, Estella. And all your daughter could do was to go to a native doctor to prepare to do against her. My savior. How can you believe what she's saying? Why would I believe? Is it until God comes down to say so? Okay. Did anyone send for the prophetess to come here? Of course not. She said it herself. The spirit of God led her in here. I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. Look, go in there, pack your evil load, and leave my house immediately. Are you chasing me away in love? Well, pack your food. Don't leave my house. No, darling, please. Leave her alone. She's an old woman. Maybe she doesn't know anything of what her daughter did, you know? Don't let him meet you here when we come back. Darling, let's go. Right. Abby! Open this game! Hey, go. I don't thank you. She hope I need your mighty God and give you all praise. Where is my darling up to this afternoon? Hi darling, <laughs> you're back early today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're welcome. As splendid as ever. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you up to? Um, it's, it's Joy. You know she has been located somewhere in the outskirts of town, so I was going to take food to her. I thought as much. Joy, joy, joy all the time. Comfort, you and I have some integrity to protect. The news is all over town that my wife, Barista Williams' wife, is associating with, as a matter of fact, pampering a woman who's been accused of all kinds of witchcraft and poisoning. Comfort, what is your interest in a mad woman? Joy is not just a mad woman, she's my best friend. Oh God, you have other friends who are sane and who are not evil. Why must we cling on to this very one at the expense of our integrity? Why, Comfort? Why? These are mere accusations. The joy that I know would never think of harming anybody. My dear, this matter goes beyond what you feel or what you think. We are talking about public impression here. Stigma and the stigma associated with madness, my dear, is very strong. Please, this has nothing to do with what you think or what you feel. None of these accusations has been disproved. God's sake, my friend is hungry and homeless, and can't I just help her? Comfort, there are so many hungry and hopeless people out there who deserve help. Mother, your so-called friend. Please, I do not wish this matter to be discussed any longer. Liam, she can't do this. The choice is clear. Either your husband's position or the interest of a deranged woman. Please, I want to park my car inside. Can't you see Joy needs help? Move back a little bit, please. Let me park my car. approaching the denouement of the gestation period and that will naturally dovetail into a catharsis occasion oh god this man leave me alone leave me alone have just sent you to me hmm? go 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 now to Odini. tell him there's katakata here oh, tell him keep your cool young lady keep your cool you see i'm only trying to adumbrate the fact that the entire human physiognomy uh, assumes uh, uh, eternal. Uh. Well, I am not surprised. You see, gestation period in the female gender is always characterized by uh, neurotic, psychotic, and perfidious tendencies. So I leave you in peace, my dear queen. <laughs>
Auntie, I've brought your food. Auntie, please eat something so that you and your baby will be strong. And he was playing on the road. And that car was coming. And you people did nothing. Auntie, it won't happen again. Are you sure? Yes, Auntie. I'm very sure. Auntie, please, just eat something so that the new one will not be hungry and play on the road. Celebrating. Hold on. It's going to be a boy. It's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. Did you see her yesterday? Yes, Auntie. How is she? She's fine, Auntie. Our pregnancy is very big now, and I'm sure she'll deliver any time from now. I wish I could help her. Joy. May the good Lord be with you. I hope she eats everything that you take to her. Auntie. Sometimes she doesn't eat. The last time I went, she threw the food at me and chased me away. Everything is going to be alright. See, um, let me give you some money to buy her vegetables. She needs it at this time. Hmm? And then some Thank money you. for your transport. Thank you. 
I know the good Lord will deliver joy and the Satan and his enemies will be put to shame. Amen. Run along before anybody knows you were out of the house. Hmm? Thank you. Take care. Take her home. We can't leave her there. It all depends on how she welcomes us. Uh, do you expect her to serve you food and drink? Let us tie her and take her home. Ajuka can bring her back to her senses. Let's, let's Let go. us go. Adam, Adam, please. Eh? It's me, your mother. Our people have come to see your baby. Please. Who are you people? Eh? Eh? You brought them to eat my baby, Abby? Ah, oh, Adam Umbano. Eh? Don't you remember them? Your father's brothers, Paul and Chidi. My father is dead. 
go. All of you go and follow him. Go, 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 follow him. Our niece, come, let's take you home, eh? Who hurt you and your baby? Come, we have the same blood. Hey, which blood? My blood is red. Your own is black. You think I don't know you? Wicked people. If you Adam. come near me again, I will kill you. Adam. You are foolish. Adam, please, let's take you home. Eh? You'll be well there. Adam, please, have you forgotten that we used to be so close? I used to tell you sweet stories when you were young. Please, add stories. Stories of mad people and killers of junior. Adam. If you come near me again, I will kill you. Adam, please. Bridget, come. Adam, Let's go. It won't work like this. Let's go my plan and come back for another day. She might hurt herself or her baby. Let's go. Adam, please. What on this planet is transpiring in this atmosphere? Don't you know I can sue you for violating uh, my, my territory? I can, I, I, can, I, I can obtain an interlocutory uh, injunction restraining you from, from transferring into my grandiose uh, abode. Never this thing. Oh, Stop for this way. What is this? Stop. 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 Kill you. Stop. Stop. Let's go. Stop. 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 Foolish people. Killers of junior, you want to eat my baby? Catch it. Mad catch it. people. Come, catch it. Eh? Angela, where are you going? Why have you left the kitchen uncleaned? And you are going where? But Auntie, I've washed them all. Since when? Hmm? Since when? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> eh? Auntie. My friend, go to the kitchen right now. Hmm? Clean up the kitchen floors and the kitchen cookers for me. Now! Take this thing and get out of this. But don't you have not? I said get out! <laughs> Over my dead body, will she and the evil son of a madman live? After destroying my own son, <laughs> this world is too deep. One day now, one miracle pastor will heal her, and I'll start all over again. Never. Better to finish her once and for all. Let God fight for me. It's me.
This is the third day and she's not getting any better. What exactly is the problem? Well, we ran uh, several tests on her. None is positive yet. Don't worry. We meet such cases sometimes. We're still trying. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. Hey, my daughter, it is strange when the moon visits the earth. Why have you come to visit the gods so late in the night? Baba, because nobody must know that. I left the hospital. I know that, son. <coughs> hospital. Which hospital? Baba? Baba, the medicine you gave me did not work. Uh -huh. I did exactly what you asked me to do. But the mad woman, she's still walking around. Says she's still very hell and hardy. I'm the one that is dying. Oh, Granodi. Did I... Here you say, mad woman. Yes, 
She has been mad for four or six months now. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry, I say. Woman, my daughter, the needle is not an instrument for jokes. You mean that the medicine I did for you was meant for a mad person, and you did not tell me? Oh, Baba, but, <coughs> but I did not think that it was necessary to tell you now. Hey! No, 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 Look at it. There is a problem. Baba, but does it matter? Does it mean anything? Yes, it matters. Don't you know that the spirit of a mad person is different from the spirit of we normal people? So, what, is, what does that mean, Baba? Such medicine cannot work on a mad person. Instead, it backfires. Hey! Hey! Baba! So, what, what are we going to do? Mwano, ovu mwonyo broker. Nebo chetere, kako fu wedro. Maka mwonyo broker, apati mwotara wakarubi. None mwonyo wata chibite huwejo. Neji na wana huya noso. Mana wata dubli. Ofun de mwana. Aku nchidoro. Ah, you cannot abort a pregnancy after the baby is born, but there is a remedy. Transfer. The only way out is for you to transfer the dead to someone else, the person you love most. Because, <laughs> come rain, come sun, someone must die. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. When I broke the animal, I don't know. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm a man or a woman after he am hurt early in the morning. Those are the person wake up from bed. Hurry. Go <coughs> and up and I get I can see the cold pangs of death. <laughs> talking to her mm. and she was trying to blow the, the substance mm. into my face mm. but instead blew on hers and mm. fell down mm. i don't know what's happening mm. what is it it's a lie mm. I, I don't know you are lying on the lady you have a substance you are lying tell me what happened to my daughter oh, 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 oh,
is not lying. Mommy, leave him alone. It was the Baba. Which Baba? It was the Baba who said that I should that I should put the substance on the one I love most. Mommy, please pray for me. I'm praying for you, my daughter. I'm praying for you. I don't want to go to hell. You go to hell. Hey, Odini. Please, apologize to Joy for me. Apologize? Why? It was me. I made her mad. With the help of the prophetess, all those prophecies, they were forged. And I wanted to finish her off. The jump backfired on me. That was my... My... and communicating with the cosmic forces of the universe. Why? Who are you? Um, I'm sorry. Please, can you, can you just um, explain to me will what... You, will you maintain some quietude here? Please! Anybody else? Angela! Angela, come, 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 come. Angela, what is this? What is this? What's going on here, Angela? What's happening to me? What's this? Auntie, are you well now? What do you mean, am I well? Was I sick? Hey, thank God. My auntie don't wear low. God, I thank you. Hey. Come, come, come and change up so that we can go back to the house. Angela, you're not telling me anything. What is this? Tell me now. What? I don't understand. I'm scared. I'm scared. Tell me. What is this? Huh? Auntie? Auntie Stella has died. She confessed she was the one that did this to you. She wanted to kill you. But the juju backfired on her. Why all these multiferous cacophonous? Who is this man? He's a professor. You have been living with him since others why. 
Yes. <laughs> He's I, a very nice man. Yes. I, Wait. Tell her about me. Are you trying to tell me? I've been out of my senses. Insane, mad? No, no, <laughs> Auntie, not mad. You were only a little bit sick. Okay. Whose baby is that? It's your baby, of course. My baby. Baby by who? You, of course. Wait, okay. All right. Relax, relax. Relax, think. Think, think. Yes, um, it's all coming back now, yes. Uh, yes, I... Yes, I was two months pregnant, yes. And, um... What else? My head was spinning and... Everything was turning upside down and I... I couldn't... I can't... What else? My baby... My baby... What did you do? Uncle? Uncle? Auntie is well now. She's she's no longer sick. Joy. You well? You well, Joy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Look, Joy. I've come to take you home. Come, come on, let's go home. What did it? What happened? It, it, it was Stella. She turned my head. She, she's dead now. Come on, let, let's go. The woman you brought into the house. I'm, I'm sorry. She did this to me? Did you see what you've done to me? Or did you see what your greed and impressions has reduced me to? A crazy, tattered woman running the streets! Please, please forgive me. It, it's all over now. It, it's all over. It's not over. What about the shame? She's supposed to stink well for the rest of my life. God, please take me. Darling, die. don't talk like this. Look, look, darling, today we're leaving this town. We'll relocate to Abuja. I bought a house there last month. <laughs> darling, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Look, I promise to spend the rest of my life righting every wrong I've done to you. Darling, please forgive me. What a multiferous cacophony by two deranged homo sapiens. Oh.